EA, where is Need for Speed Underground 3? You have gained so much fans just off of two games, which is Underground 1 and 2. And they were loved by millions. And correct me if I'm wrong, but they sold millions as well. So why not take another crack at it and make a third Underground? EA Games. Challenge everything. Now you're probably wondering who the hell am I to be telling you, a company, what to do? Now, I have gathered so much comments, thoughts, and suggestions and ideas of comment sections, blogs, fan pages, group pages, and here's what your fan base has to say. So as I said, I am one person and I am no one to tell you what to do, but a good developer listens to their fan base. And this is what your fan base want. Now I know you've got this game coming out called The Run, and it's looking good, it's looking story driven from what I can tell, and that's good because there's not much epic story driven games, st story driven racing games. So hopefully this can be the one. But your fans are not waiting for that. Your fans are waiting for Underground 3. So as I said, I've gathered comments and thoughts, and this is what you need to get rid of in Underground 3. That is, if you make it. All right, you need to get rid of URL, Underground Racing League. Underground Racing League was track racing. Now I personally liked it, but it doesn't fit into Underground. It doesn't fit to the Underground scene. Underground was all about street racing and we found ourselves racing on tracks. Cut it out. Um, in Underground 1, you had something called Tournament and that made more sense. That was a compilation of um, like two to three races and you had to get the most points at the end of the tournament to win. Now that makes more sense. Um, another is Street X. Again, I personally like it, but it doesn't fit into Underground. Um, magazine covers, you need to get rid of that as well. In Underground 2, you had to race to the photographer, which was some annoying S. It was some annoying crap. And I swear, if you're that popular, you have that much hype, that much reputation, I swear the photographers come to you. Why were we racing to the photographers? Doesn't make sense. Photo mode is enough. Alright. Need to get rid of the ugly parts some of you designed. Um, you need to get rid of Race Breaker. Race Breaker is the Nitrous refill system where you do stunts and whatnot to get your Nitrous back. Now, I know Underground is arcade racing, but it's not really realistic, is it? In Underground 1, you had your Nitrous tank, and if you use all your Nitrous, that's it, you can't get it back. And that made more sense. It was more realistic, and I preferred it that way. Uh, yeah, so that's what you need to get rid of. This is what you need to keep or include. All right, you need to make Underground 3 story driven. Um, it needs to be unrelated. The story needs to be unrelated to Underground 1 or 2. Don't let it have anything to do with Underground 2. Um, it needs to be completely fresh and new and not too linear. Um, Outrun, you need to keep that. That was fun as hell. Outrun is where you challenge an opponent and um, you have to outrun them basically and it was fun as hell and um, if you do outrun enough you get you get a um, unique upgrade you need to keep that um, downhill drift hella fun leave that in underground um, you need to keep uh, um, you need to keep SUVs SUVs there wasn't that much and not much people used them but I did and I like them. I like what you can do to them, the customization and stuff. Yeah, so we need more SUVs, at least five this time. And um, include the Range Rover. Include the Range Rover, okay? All right, um, ignition. We would like ignition in um, Underground 3 and possibly future racing games of yours. Um, for example, Burnout Paradise. Burnout Paradise, you had to turn on your car before you could move, and we like that. It gives you an adrenaline rush. <laughs> Um, we like the different shops, you know, the shops where you have to go there for your performance, there for your body parts, and there for your paint, and etc, etc, etc. Um, we also need you to keep the extreme customization, like the hydraulics, the doors, the speakers in the trunk, all that good stuff. We'd also like you to include Autoscope. Autoscope was first introduced from Need for Speed Carbon, and that's where you can um, design your parts 
to your preference. Adjust them and, you know, do what not to them. Now, where the hell did lap knockout go? That was epic and it was so intense. It's three laps, four opponents, last person on each lap gets knocked out. Put that back in, a lap knockout. Now, EA, you need to ask yourself, is underground three, if you make it, gonna be open or closed racing? If it's open, fine. If it's closed racing, here's my ideas and suggestions. If it's closed racing, don't let it be too closed. You can have, for example, two different types of barriers. One barrier says, nope, you have to go that way, you can't pass through here. And you have another barrier, which is optional for the player to go through them or not. And you can distinguish both barriers by, you know, a simple tick and a cross. So, a tick barrier says that, oh yeah, you can pass through here if you want to. But the cross barrier says, you must go that way, that way, blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, you need to focus on tuna and muscle cars. For example, in Fast and Furious, the films never focused on exotic cars. It was always tuna cars and muscle cars. All right, you also need to include these legendary cars. What is a racing game without these cars? Okay, the Nissan Skyline R34, the Mazda RX-7 and the Toyota Supra. Now, in my opinion, a racing game must have these cars. These are legendary cars that you must have. Yes, they were in the previous game, but you need to put them in this game as well. Alright, finally, this is where I personally come in. And I'd like to see these cars in Underground 3. Okay? Alright. Please include the BMW 1 Series Hatchback, the BMW 3 Series Compact, the BMW M3 E46, the Alfa Romeo 156, the Mercedes C200 Coupe, the Honda S2000, the Malaco. So, as I said, your fan base are desperately waiting, patiently waiting for Underground Free. And as I said, a good developer listens to their fan base. So hopefully, Underground 3 will come out after the run and for this generation, the generation of the PS3 and the 360. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if any of you at EA saw this video, please take it into consideration. Thank you.